Oh. Oh. Apes will not kill ape franchise. Well, you should have thought of that before making this movie. Hello, my fellow YouTubers and subscribers, and welcome to my rant on the epic conclusion to the original Planet of the Apes film series. Battle for the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Believe me, this will hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not delirious. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's... Oh, dear. Because it's painful. So, Battle for the Planet of the Apes. The fifth and final movie of the original Planet of the Apes film series. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Released in 1973. Directed once again by J. Lee Thompson, who directed the last film, Conquest. So, basically, the plot is as follows. Ten years after a worldwide series of ape revolutions and a brutal nuclear war among humans, Caesar must protect survivors of both species from an insidious human cult and a militant ape faction alike. So as you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, uh, I'm alluding to the fact that I don't like this movie! Battle for the Planet of the Apes. What a fucking waste. <laughs> What a what an absolute disgrace of a finale. This movie is terrible. This is a terrible film to end the series. I mean, this just really adds insult to injury. I mean, not all of the Planet of the Apes sequels have been good, but my god, if you thought Conquest was disappointing, this one is even worse. And I don't even hate Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. I don't think Conquest is a piece of shit, but I think Battle is a piece of shit. The problem with Battle is that it's just so tired. You know, this is the fifth movie, and... The fifth movie in very quick succession. You know, I looked it up and all of the sequels were released a year apart. You know, Beneath the Planet of the Apes was released, I think, 1970. And then they were released a year after that each time. You know, the four sequels were made very quickly. Whether they were made consecutively, I don't know. Whether they were made in production simultaneously, I don't know. But they were certainly made one after the other. And it shows because... The result of each of them is just very mixed. This one, more than any of the others, is so rushed. And the story, I mean, what story? There is no story. What the fuck is the point of the story at this point? You know, if, if they'd have ended this, this original series with Conquest, I could sort of buy that a bit more. But with this one, they don't even try. <laughs> they don't even fucking try. There's hardly any battle in the movie. The last, like, 15 minutes, they, there's a big battle. But... Really, the biggest set piece in this movie is a school bus. That's just lazy. That's just insulting. I mean, what do they think we are? Stupid? I mean, the whole film is just dumb. It goes on pointless tangents for no reason. The plot is so badly written. I mean, we start the film with Caesar and the apes living quite harmoniously. And for some reason, McDonald, the guy that was in the last movie, is there. Although played by a different actor this time. And then... Caesar, for some reason, wants more information about his parents, Cornelius and Zira. MacDonald encourages Caesar to travel to this forbidden cave where there are archives of his parents and their voice recordings that we heard from Escape from the Planet of the Apes in order to find out more information about the future. So, again, it's just repeating information that we as the audience already know. Just because Caesar doesn't know it doesn't mean we have to hear it again. And... Again, it's a pointless tangent just to drag out the, the film. And the film's not long. It's 90 minutes. How can you make a, a film that's 90 minutes drag so much? But this one does. Oh my god. And then we have this pointless ape villain character known as Aldo. Who's just such a grunt. You know, he, he's such a bully. He, he, he abuses a load of the other apes. And he just throws his weight around. He abuses this teacher. And he locks, he locks him up in a cage. He locks up the humans in a cage. And he actually murders Caesar's son by cutting a branch from a tree. That's how dumb the writing is. Yeah, he kills Cornelius by cutting down the branch of a tree. <laughs> Bravo. I mean, wow. I'm so hooked. I mean, do they think that this is epic? Do they think that this is emotional? No. I mean, I don't. This whole film 
doesn't even try to be epic. I mean, the last sort of battle sequence that we get, it's hardly worth even watching the movie for it because it's not much. There's a bit of shooting, there's a bit of gunfire, but that's really it. There's there's no conflict. And, and the final confrontation with Aldo and Caesar is terrible. Aldo climbs the tree and then Caesar tries to pursue him, grabs him, but then Aldo falls off the tree. Is that it? Oh, well, w big whoop. <laughs> you know, I'm so on the edge of my seat. The whole first hour of this film is so boring. A bit like Conquest. The first hour, nothing happens. The pointless tangent of Caesar finding out more information about his parents when he doesn't need to. And for some reason, there's this group of humans that are in the cave for no reason. It's never really explained. I mean, I don't know if these are the humans that are going to go on to build the bomb because this, this movie is trying to tie up all the movies. It does it terribly. It's trying to come full circle with the original film. Because at the very end, we see the statue that we see in the first movie, so it's meant to be a tie-in, a tie -in, but uh, it doesn't flow as coherently as the, well, the reboot trilogy, but we'll get to that later. The impressive makeup, I mean, that's the one thing that has really been great about this series. You know, the original series has been held up by the makeup, and I can't fault that whatsoever. That has been consistent from the first movie to the fifth movie. But the writing is terrible. I mean, the direction is so lazy. Like, it's like J. Lee Thompson didn't really care what he was making. I don't care about the conflict. All of the conflicts are pointless. I don't care about Aldo throwing his weight around and, you know, where did this hatred all come from? Basically, Aldo is a character who I believe is rewritten a lot better in the new films with Cobra. Just watch the new trilogy in Cobra. Cobra is a much better version of Aldo. Aldo has no motivation to hate Caesar or hate humans. Where, where does this come from? It just comes out of nowhere. It's just an excuse for the film to have a conflict. But if it's born out of nothing, then why would I care? You know, why would I care? I mean, Rodney McDowell, bless him, he tries his best as Caesar. He he works with such bad material, but he, he's doing his absolute best to bring what he can to the to the role. He clearly loves being involved in this series, even though this one, it, it does feel like he's getting a bit tired. You know, it was definitely time to apply the, the brakes here. And McDonald, why is McDonald in the movie? Why, why is he in the movie? Because at the beginning, he's talking to Caesar about, oh, why can't the humans and, and apes, you know, be equals and coexist? And then, you know, Caesar only believes that the humans' ways are violent and brutal, so he won't do that at that point. So it's like, what? Well, how come they are friends then? I, I, I just don't get it. I feel like it's very, very lazy. I mean, the locales are nice. The Again, the production design is quite nice. It's getting closer to the look of the original 68 movie, which is nice. But the script is fucking garbage. It's so garbage. The battle is awful. This is one of the worst battles I've ever seen on, on film. One of the best battles I've ever seen in a film is Zulu. Watch the movie Zulu. That's how you do a battle scene. Yes, it's okay to build up to a battle. And I'm, and I'm not saying the movie needed to be a 90-minute clusterfuck of shooting. Of course not. It does need to have a dramatic core and it does need to have a story and characters to care about. But you don't care about what goes on in this movie because the first hour is just filler. It's just filler. Nothing happens. Nothing remotely interesting happens anyway. All of these little scenes just feel like a compilation of bits from other movies. It doesn't feel like this is the same script. The movie doesn't go anywhere. This should be the movie where all the previous films lead up to this this is like where you, you, you give the audience an epic ride, bring the series round in a circle, which is what they try to do, but it feels like none of the other movies really matter, other than potentially Escape from the Planet of the Apes, which they hark back to. But really, aside from that and Conquest, like this movie doesn't really follow the others, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel like anything else really matters anymore. And you're just watching some random scenes that kind of lead to a battle for no reason. It, it's terrible. It's fucking terrible aside the makeup it's a it's a mess it's a it's a real mess the music isn't bad but at this point this is really what killed the apes franchise and i i i absolutely see why there is no need to watch battle for the planet of the apes they should have stopped with the conquest because after that point we kind of know what happens really you know it feels like they're dragging out the story it does feel like an extended epilogue of conquest and it really doesn't need to be there's more battle scenes in Conquest than in the film that actually is called Battle for the Planet of the Apes. They really should have retitled this movie. Oh, uh, God. I, I, don't, I don't know what they would have called it. Like, um, I don't know what, you know, Discovery of the Planet of the Apes, Apocalypse of the Planet of the Apes. Battle doesn't feel right. It really doesn't feel right. Movie making fail 101. But that being said, 
is it the worst of the series? No, it actually isn't. We'll get to that. Oh, don't worry. So it's a real shame that the, the original Apes series had to end on such a fucking stinker. You know, if you like the movie, then that's great great for you. But I just did not like this movie. I, I, I could tolerate Conquest because at least the third act had some oomph to it. It was pretty epic and powerful with that speech, but there's none of that here. There's no great speeches here. There's no speeches like, we will go to war, you know, and Caesar leading his people to, to victory or freedom. There's none of that. There's absolutely none of that. And I didn't feel anything from the you know death of Cornelius. That was a waste as well. So, overall, Battle for the Planet of the Apes sucks. I can only give it praise for, well, one or two things, really. Like I said, the makeup is fantastic, the acting is good, and the music is great. So, overall, I'm going to score Battle for the Planet of the Apes a 2 out of 10. This is rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish. You know what they should have called it? School Bus of the Planet of the Apes. Or as my good friend Harry Thomas says, bore for the Planet of the Apes. Because it is so boring. So, there we are. That's the end of the reviews of the original Planet of the Apes film series. But we're not done yet, because next time we come to the reimagining of Planet of the Apes with uh, Tim Burton at the director's chair. The 2001 Planet of the Apes movie, which I'm going to be talking about soon. And then we're on to the reboot trilogy. Thank fuck. So, what do you think of Battle for the Planet of the Apes? Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, see you soon, and bye for now.